Well, hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us on this very exciting Unearthed episode that we have today. You will notice that I've got a rather special guest joining me, Dr. Brannick Riggs. Welcome so much to our Unearthed series. Thank you. Excited to be with you. This is a great opportunity. Thank you so much for the invitation. Well, we feel truly blessed that you have joined us on the Zoom today. We are recording this so everyone will have access to this incredible conversation that we're about to have. And we've been working behind the scenes talking about this particular topic, and I know that everyone is super excited to delve deep into the science, the, the purpose and the lifestyle that is Lifelong Vitality Pack. So I think we just dive straight in and go into the nitty gritty. What do you think? Sounds great. Love Amazing. the science. Love it. Me too. So what is the Lifelong Vitality Pack, Brannick? Can you talk us through a little bit more about the product? For sure. So the Lifelong Vitality Pack was created by uh, Rob Young, one of our founders, and um, and Dr. David Hill as they looked at some of the challenges that are going on in the world today. And we'll talk a little bit throughout this conversation about nutrition and what are the gaps that can be filled with a supplement like, like the Lifelong Vitality Pack. So it consists of three uh, different supplements. It's the X E omegas which uh, are really the omega-3 fatty acids and the fat-soluble nutrients in it. It's the Microplex VMZ, which are, are essential vitamins and minerals and some nutrients that support our health and well-being. And then it's Alpha-CRS, which really is about energy production and reducing the free radicals that not only do we get from our environment, but we also get it from metabolism. We create free radicals within the system and so we know that those can cause some challenges. And so the Alpha CRS was created to help support that portion of the system. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something that we were talking about this earlier, that you really notice the difference when you've started a, a routine, a habit of sorts with Lifelong Vitality Pack. You don't know what you need necessarily. And sometimes it is a case of just starting that foundational health routine. I'm going to yeah. start taking these, these supplements um, each day and see how I feel. And I, for one, can hand on heart say, I notice a difference when I don't take them. If I forget, I really feel like my body is is angry at me. <laughs> and I need to. So I've got a little, yep. a little tip, a little trick before we get into the nitty gritty of all of this. I have got my, I call it my old lady pill box. I have got a two week supply Monday through Sunday on each side, um, and I separate my supplements into my daily regimen. And while I'm taking my morning cup of coffee, I have my supplements, and it's such a great way to start the day, and I feel like I'm just doing that little tick. Okay, I've done yeah. something good for myself. Yeah, I think that's great. I have I have some of the same uh, tricks that I've used over the years. I, I do really well at that morning dose, and I always forget the afternoon dose, and and it became, you know, after about a year, I just became so frustrated that I was missing that afternoon dose. And so I started uh, a, a trick where I take my morning dose before I leave the house in the morning. And I put my afternoon dose in my left pocket. Mm -hmm. Car keys, work keys go in my right pocket. Left pocket has my afternoon dose so that it's always with me. So that when I remember, it's here, whether it's at lunchtime, whether it's mid afternoon, whether it's right before dinner, I have it with me and then I can take it. So I had to I had to do a little switch to remember that. The other thing that's interesting about it is this is the only product I think that we have that has a 30 day guarantee with it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. So so you take it, if you don't feel any difference, mm -hmm. you can get your money back, which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would say that I have yet to meet anyone who has cashed in that 30 day guarantee. Yes. So I'm the same. I, I haven't yeah. come across anyone because it's it's once you start that routine, that habit, uh, you do feel it. You can feel yeah. that difference. And so yeah. I mean, in my personal opinion, you'd be crazy. You'd be crazy right. to get that money. <laughs> it is interesting though. I have come across people that say, Well, Dr. Riggs, I've been taking LLV now for about three or four years <clears throat> and, and I don't feel a difference anymore. Yeah. And you know what I tell them, Jess? I say, stop taking it. Yeah. And then let's see if you feel the difference. Because what's happened is how you feel, how much better you have felt has become the new norm for you. Mm -hmm. So that when you 
now you're like, well, I take this every day and I don't feel any better. That's because you have felt better now for three or four years and you don't remember what it was like before. Mm. And so when they go off of it, they're like, oh yeah. After about a week, they realize that's right. That's how I felt. I need to get back on it. Yes. That's so, that is so true. It's like the same for like any weight loss journey, right? We forget what we were like before. And I know that you and I have both been on a bit of a uh, health focus yeah. over the past yeah. little while. Mm -hmm. um, and I have been working out. I have been lifting those weights. Like a, I look like a silly person. But I tell you what, you forget what you looked like before and how you felt before. And you have to have right. those little markers, those measurements. A simple case of writing in a journal, and, and journaling is a beautiful way to connect mm -hmm. with yourself, but being conscious of how you are, how you're mm -hmm. feeling physically, emotionally, and and it's a really great way to add into your journaling that I'm feeling great today. And so test yeah. that out. Yeah, if you don't take those supplements, how do you feel? It's always great yeah. to tap into yourself and see how you're feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Point. You know, you mentioned that that you and I have been on this, this health journey, just trying to kind of up-level where we yes. are. And I was recently reading an article about BMI, body mass index, and micronutrients. Mm. And what they found is that there is an association with our BMI and a lack of micronutrients. That's what we're talking about with LLV, with vitamins and minerals. They found that those with a higher BMI had lower vitamin D, lower folate, lower potassium, and magnesium. And mm -hmm. so there seems to be a correlation. We're not saying cause and effect here. What we're saying is that, boy, if we are heavier, there may be some relation to not having enough micronutrients. And we may want to be really careful about, okay, I need to make sure that I'm getting my micronutrients in every day to make sure that I'm supporting the cells that I'm trying to do better with movement and, you know, all those things, nutrition, et cetera, that the micronutrients it plays a part in those cells responding to the things that we're trying to do outside of that. I was going to just ask on that. So do you think that that's more correlating towards uh, the, the, the weight in itself and where the BMI sits, or is it the lifestyle that's associated with uh, a, a higher BMI? So for example, eating more fatty foods, um, mm -hmm. not necessarily eating things from the garden. Yeah, we actually don't know. They haven't looked in into that yet. Um, my guess would be, right, those that have a healthier lifestyle, they're exercising more, they're paying more attention to what they're consuming, etc., that um, probably those folks have less deficiencies, because those are also the people that tend to supplement more, they tend to have better behavior. They did a study with uh, youth, so ages 11 to 19, and found that those that were more physically active tended to be those that also took more supplements. Hmm. Um, often it was related to their sports. Maybe they're taking more vitamin C, maybe they're taking more calcium, whatever it is. But it tends to be, and this would be true, that one healthy behavior leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. So eventually you're stacking those habits on top of each other and getting the benefit of all of them rather than just looking for the one to be the fix to take care of everything. Of course. And that's so true, isn't it? There's never one quick fix to anything that we want to achieve in life. But I love the fact right. that, and lifestyle is going to be a really big conversation that we're trying to entwine into everything we talk about educationally with doTERRA in Australia and New Zealand this year. We're really wanting to talk about why we do what we do. Why mm -hmm. are we invested in in wholesome, holistic living versus yeah. picking up something from the from the, the supermarket shelf? You know, we we could quite easily go and pick up a supplement. Uh, from from Woolies or Coles mm -hmm. that we have in Australia. So I'll have to take mm -hmm. you to the supermarket one day when you come to Aussie. Uh, yeah. and, <laughs> and and you can see that there's a whole bunch of, of supplements and it's, it's a minefield. You don't know right. where to start, what is going to be that quick fix that's, me, that's going to help me to lose weight or is going to help me to feel more energy or it's going to help me to, to sleep better. Um, yeah. And what I really, really love and really appreciate, to be honest, um, of what doTERRA have done to create the lifelong vitality pack because it is filling in those gaps and it's kind of I can I can rest assured I know that it's clean I know right. that it's the right uh, mix and formulations I know that these products have been chelated I'm going to use a big word and you can uh, help me explain what that is <laughs> sure. uh, but it helps our bodies to be able to absorb 
those those nutrients and those minerals as well, right? Right, right, absolutely. So th that's the issue. When, when you go to the grocery store, you're typically trying to pick out one or two things. We talked earlier about, well, maybe I need some more iron. So you go and purchase some iron and then you go and you look at the vitamin C and you purchase the vitamin C and pretty soon, you know, you've got $300 worth of products there to last you through the month. And you have to go spend that $300 every single month. Well, the beautiful thing about doTERRA is that we've done the science, we've done the research, we've looked at what levels of what things need to be in there and found natural sources for those things. And then the chelation, which we'll talk about in just a second. So that then we're saying, okay, now I have all of this in one thing that I'm buying. I have a trusted source that I'm buying it from. And I'm not spending that $300 every single month to, to purchase this uh, and, and get the benefits from this, right? Mm -hmm. So so I think that it's, it's a beautiful thing to trust the science of doTERRA to recognize we've done the work. Guys, we've done the work. We've looked at all of this and we have found that this is probably the best that you can find on the market and recognize too, that we've updated this. this. This isn't our first go at this. When we first came out with a lifelong vitality pack, it was somewhat different. And as science has, has taught us more, we've actually changed the formulation on occasion to update with what the science is teaching us. And we will continue to do that. So don't be too sad when we have a product that we say, hey, we're retiring this product in place of this newer product. It's because the science is teaching us more. We're learning how to make it cleaner. We're learning how to make it better. We're learning how to make it more focused for you as an individual. And so therefore, we have an ethical obligation to come out with a better product when we know more about what the science is teaching us. And that's such a big thing as to why. And I'm going to keep using that word why, because it is so important our why state but that's why we trust this brand so impeccably yeah. because we know that there is science that we know we have experts behind this uh that are not just cherry picking concepts or or, or big ideas or, or just the, the the hot topic of the month and saying let's go and make this product this is yeah. for you this is yeah. for your foundational health so can we yeah. delve into a bit more about each product and yeah. what it actually does yeah, for sure. Let's do that. Let's so let's talk that. about Alpha CRS Plus. Can we talk about yeah. that first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Alpha CRS is an, an amazing product. I, I find that Alpha CRS is really made to help us twofold. One is for our energy um, and energy production and also to help reduce those free radicals. We <clears throat> Let's talk about free radicals for a minute. It's an interesting concept. We have within our cells um, molecules that have electrons that are on the outside of them. And electrons like to have friends, right? That's like us. We like to be paired with someone. Um, we just recently had Valentine's Day. So we like to have someone on Valentine's Day. It's wonderful to celebrate okay. with, right? Absolutely. But when we're by ourselves, we tend to be a little more unstable, and that is free radicals. When you have an electron surrounding a molecule that doesn't have a friend to stabilize it, it can run into trouble, and it does. It binds to things, messes up proteins, messes up RNA, so the message into a protein isn't translated correctly, even binds to DNA. And when electrons bind to DNA, and it changes the shape of that DNA. When that cell replicates itself, it's not going to give us a true copy of the DNA. And then we start to run into all sorts of problems with that. Mm -hmm. So what happens with alpha CRS is it has within it some antioxidants. And those antioxidants have molecules that have a few extra electrons that they're happy to donate to stabilize those free radicals that are running around by themselves. And so I love Alpha CRS for that fact. It also is a, an amazing product at supporting a really healthy inflammatory response. We know that inflammation can be good for us. We want inflammation at certain levels, but we want to have an appropriate response in inflammation. And what Alpha CRS is, is this helps us have that appropriate amount, helps, helps mitigate that to make sure that we're having, having it when we need it and not having it when we don't. So it's, it's a beautiful product in that regards. Beautiful. 
I, I absolutely love it. And I do have a question for you, and I haven't um, preempted this question for you, so I wonder sure. if I'm putting you on the spot here. Go but, for it. Uh, everyone in the field already knows that I am a what we call a skin junkie. I adore looking after skin, and I find that when you look after your internals, your your skin on the outside looks incredible. Sure. We mm -hmm. need antioxidant protection topically on our face to protect yeah. ourselves from, from free radical damage outside, UV, pollution, mm -hmm. dirt, the likes. Would internal product like this help to support the antioxidant protection uh, for your skin health? Yeah. So it turns out, you know, we think about organ systems, right? We think about the heart, lungs, liver, those sorts of things. Skin is actually an organ. It's the largest organ of the body. We know that the skin is very vascular, meaning that whatever we put into ourselves, it gets into the bloodstream that the skin will receive much of that um, benefit from things. So absolutely, taking something internally can absolutely help strengthen the skin. It will absolutely deliver those micronutrients as well as the antioxidants to the skin to help us, again, have that healthy response to the, for instance, the damage that the sun gives us that creates free radicals. It is a, it is a common source of external free radicals as we're out in the sun, you guys are in summer right now. It's beautiful weather. It's nice and warm. You go out, you want to get some vitamin D. So you expose your skin to the sun. Your skin makes vitamin D, but you're also creating some free radicals from that exposure. And so the antioxidants can absolutely help with the skin. And that's a really, really good point because we want to lead natural, healthy lives. We want to be able to get that vitamin D onto, uh, you know, in, uh, in our eyeballs. I know that's a topic right now. Everyone's saying, just look up at the at the sky, not at the sun. Yeah. Look up at the sky <laughs> and get some of that vitamin D in the morning. It's going to help to boost um, your energy levels, your, your, your melatonin. You'll feel happier. Yeah. Um, but like you said, uh, as soon as that UV hits your skin as well, uh, it's going to go into stress mode. Um, and right. so you want to have that healthy inflammatory response to yeah. topical application as well as that internal response mechanism. So that's a really interesting point. So thank you for addressing that. And I'm sorry for challenging you with a question that wasn't free. Oh. You know, like, like all things, yes, it's this balance, right? We know that if we hide from the sun, we actually create problems for ourselves because we, we need exposure to the sun. We also know that if I were to go out and spend eight hours a day with my ex skin exposed to the sun, it's going to cause problems. So there's, there's, a right time and place there's the amounts all of this thing has to be in balance to make sure that what we're doing is beneficial for us and not harmful for us yeah, yeah. great yeah. really focusing on that foundational health so if these are the yeah. pillars to start the day and like you've mentioned as well to supplement throughout the day as well which i do want to touch on a bit later as well because um i've got a few questions about that but just to keep on yeah. the thread of what's inside these bottles uh it's yeah. the omega can we talk about that next? Oh, yeah. So I love Exiomega. It's it's really one of the products that I am really excited about. The information out there about omega-3 fatty acids is so important. So, for instance, in our modern diet, we know that there are some pro-inflammatory omega acid, omega, um, omega fatty acids, and there's some some um fatty acids that help us keep that inflammation under control. Omega-6s and omega-3s, we need both. We actually need both types. We, As we talked about with inflammation, it's the balance thing. We want to make sure that inflammation is there when we need it. It's not there when we don't need it. And so we need omega-6s and omega-3 in balance. The challenge is in our modern diet today, the ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s is 16 to 1. And it should be a one-to-one -one ratio. Are oh, you kidding? No. And so this may explain what we see in the world today uh, with lots of issues dealing with this particular problem. And so we can either decide, okay, I have to decrease all of the omega-6s in my diet, which is extremely difficult to do in a modern diet. Mm -hmm. Or I can simply bring up my omega-3s to have a better ratio of one-to-one. And so that's really one of the things that the XE Omega does for us. It brings up the ratio of omega-3s for us so that then with our diet, we can have that one-to-one -one ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s. Wow, that's really interesting. And is that uh, deficiency or that unbalance, um, I guess, 
possibly, I mean, obviously nothing is going to be to, to finish, but is that possibly why we're, we're seeing issues with heart health, uh, issues yeah. with oh, yeah. eyesight, with cognitive function, uh, because our, our diet is possibly lacking? Correct. It's, oh. it's why we're seeing so many issues that drive us to seek medical care. Mm. That often is based in nutrition. As a matter of fact, when I looked at the research recently, <clears throat> nine out of the 10 most common risk factors for chronic problems lie in nutrition. Mm. Nine out of 10. It just tells us that we're not getting enough understanding or education in nutrition and what these macronutrients do for us. We, we really need to understand that our cells need these things to function optimally. And when we don't get them, or in this case, as we were just talking about omega-6s, when we get an overabundance of them, what does that mean to the system? And how does the system respond to that? Mm -hmm. It goes back to this balance situation. The other things that I want to mention about the X-Omegas are some things that sometimes we overlook. We have astaxanthin in there. Mm -hmm. And astaxanthin has antioxidant activity and helps maintain that natural inflammatory response that we want. Mm -hmm. It also shows that it crosses the blood brain barrier. There's irrefutable evidence to say that, that astaxanthin crosses the blood brain barrier. And so it helps the central nervous system in the antioxidant portion of things. We, as we think, as we function throughout the day, we're producing free radicals in our mm -hmm. brain. And so this astaxanthin that crosses the blood-brain barrier helps us reduce that. Zeaxanthin is in there and helps support the health of the eye. We've been talking about the eye a little bit. Also promotes a, promotes a healthy inflammatory response in the eye. Lutein, which we typically get from green leafy vegetables, also helps with eye health. So think of spinach, right? But the body also takes lutein. And when you have enough of it, it produces, it turns it into zeaxanthin which we just talked about, promotes that healthy inflammatory response in the eye. And then the last one that I really like about our X omegas is the lycopene. Lycopene is usually found in, vet, in tomatoes, mm -hmm. right? We grow a garden every year because we like tomatoes and I don't eat tomatoes from the grocery store because they're deficient in lycopene because they've been picked green, brought to the grocery store and on the way ripened. When that happens, there's no lycopene in your tomato unfortunately. So we grow our own tomatoes because then they taste like tomatoes. And we know that lycopene is, is helpful in supporting heart health. You mentioned the heart, the cardiovascular system. We need more lycopene to make sure that our heart health is maintaining and doing well. It also supports the neuropathic transmitters and reinforces bone architecture. So really three things there, neuropathic issues, also heart health, and making sure that we have good bone architecture is all based on the lycopene, which we have in the X omegas. I definitely have some more research to do when you mentioned about macronutrients and really understanding how that impacts your body. Um, yeah. But can we talk a little bit more about Microplex? DMZ, for sure. So this is a product that um, really solves the problem of what's going on in the world today and what we get from our food and what we don't get our food. Because I often run across particularly wellness advocates, well-meaning who say, well, Dr. Riggs, I have a very clean diet. And so therefore I don't need any extra vitamins and minerals. The, the research is not telling us that story. The research really tells us something very different. So let me give you some statistics for Australia. They did um, a, a study in July of 2015 with 20,000 households in Australia. And they found that they're not getting nearly enough nutrition from the foods they're consuming. They found that 49.8% of adults um, met the guidelines, the dietary guidelines for fruit servings a day, and 7% met the guidelines for vegetables every day, and only 5% of the population in Australia met the guidelines for both fruits and vegetables. 5%. 5%. So that's where we get a lot of our nutrients from. A lot of our vitamins and minerals come from fruits and vegetables. The other challenge that we have is that about <clears throat> five to 10,000 years ago, when we changed from just hunters and, and 
gatherers where we just gathered the things that were found naturally growing and we decided to become an agriculture society where we decided to grow things we started to change the the um vitamin content and the phytonutrient content of food so for instance this is a this is a u.s statistic of the 40 most common fruits and vegetables in the u.s they found that around 50% of the substances that contain vitamins and minerals essential for human health have had a considerable decline since the year 1950. That decline ranges anywhere from 6 to 38%, and that was in 50 years. We've wow. been doing this for about 5,000 years. So the loss of these beneficial nutrients did not begin that 50 years ago. It began about... 10,000 years ago. So our grant, so the, the example that I'll give you is when you look at the nutrients in an orange, mm -hmm. we would have to eat eight oranges today to get the same amount of vitamin A that our grandparents just two generations back got from one orange. Wow. That's how much vitamin A is no longer found in oranges when we buy them and we eat them. Mm -hmm. We're now just we're, we're basically breeding out the nutrients of our food for the sake of two things. One is size of food. Mm -hmm. Apples 5,000 years ago grown wild were about the size of a plum mm -hmm. and they were very bitter. But they contained about 100 times more phytonutrients than apples do today. Apples today are larger because now a farmer can sell it by the pound and get more for the apple. And they're also sweeter because we all have sweet tooths and therefore we like a nice sweet apple. Mm -hmm. But we're sacrificing that for the nutrients that used to be found in the food that we just aren't getting anymore. And so we know that when we're, when we're nutrient deficient, it leads to all sorts of problems, disability, even, even death, unfortunately. They estimate that Again, this is a U.S. statistic, about 678,000 deaths per year are due to poor nutrition. Mm. That's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. That is a and lot. So we, yeah. So we really have to make sure that we are consuming, A, a healthy diet, and then B, supplementing what we're not getting out of our healthy diet with something like our Lifelong Vitality Pack from, from doTERRA specifically now the vmz since we're talking about vitamins and minerals yeah, so, yeah but yeah. let's talk let's talk for a minute jess about the about the chelation thing that you brought up because this is where vmz comes into play this is where chelation comes into play is with the vmz um minerals are really hard for our, us to digest and absorb uh, if they were easy for to di for us to digest we could go get a spoonful of dirt and consume it and all would be well because dirt has iron in it and all sorts of other things calcium and other things but we just don't absorb it very well. And so there is a science called chelation science in which they have, chelation really means um, to create a ring-like complex. Now, minerals don't come in a ring-like complex. Minerals are usually found in pairs. You think about calcium carbonate, it found within a pair. Um, they bind to each other. Um, but what we do when we chelate them is we bind these to organic compounds. And when we bind it to an organic compound that's full of amino acids, our body absorbs amino acids really well. And so basically we're harnessing the system to now say, great, if we absorb organic compounds well and we bind, for instance, iron to an organic compound, now all of a sudden, I'm going to absorb that iron better and it's going to be more bioavailable to my system to be able to use. And so that's why we chelate our minerals to organic compounds so that then we absorb them and we're able to use them better. Okay. So, so it's, it's not your light. <laughs> it's well, it depends. Maybe in Australia it is. I don't know. Uh, look, I trust the expert. I trust you. And I saw CH and went to. So <laughs> fair enough. That's the primary feature in me. Ch that's the sound. <laughs> but isn't that so, so interesting? And so to that point, if we wanted to, and I know I used this example earlier, if I wanted to get an iron supplement, which is something classically post-children, post, post -children, right. 
got low iron. Right. Uh, and I, and amongst a myriad of other things, and yeah. I want to supplement it and I feel like I need it. I haven't gone to the doctor necessarily, but I want to start supplementing. I could easily go to Coles or Woolies and, and go and have a look. Um, what, in your opinion, would be the difference if I was to look at something on the shelf at the supermarket versus picking up something from Lifelong Vitality Pack? Yeah. So one of the differences, of course, the chelation that we just talked about, that you would get it, but you wouldn't absorb hardly any of it, right? The second is that we typically find um, when we're looking for minerals, we're typically looking for a food source of those minerals so that you don't just get the mineral with it. You brought up iron, let's say, for instance, you can go, uh, you can go to the dirt and get a magnet and pull iron out of the dirt. That's easy enough. But when we find iron in spinach, for instance, it's already bound to an organic compound. So therefore, we can just get iron from spinach with all of the other things that it comes with and get a full spectrum of that iron rather than just an individual component to it. You know, you mentioned iron. I, I looked at some data out of Australia and you're right. Very few men are iron deficient. Only about one in 30 in Australia are iron deficient. Um, but a quarter of women are iron deficient. That's that's 25% of women that are walking around who don't have enough iron to really make sure that they're creating enough hemoglobin, which then carries oxygen and carbon dioxide from cells and allows cells to function optimally when you get oxygen to a cell. It's that important. And so making sure that we have enough iron in the system is, is paramount particularly, as you said, for women. Calcium, we talked about calcium and bones, making sure that bones are healthy. Um, according to the Australian Health Survey, three quarters of adult women, so 73%, and half of men, 51%, in Australia, do not meet their calcium requirements based on their intakes from food. So calcium, hugely important. If we want to make sure that we're, don't, we're not ending up at a certain age, as you call it, with problems with our bones, we have to look at this in our 20s and 30s. When we're building bone, because by the time we get to that age, it's very difficult to build bone. Our mm -hmm. metabolism is no longer set up to build bone. We're actually only going to start breaking down that bone over time. And if we haven't built enough, we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring up the awkward topic that I know is um, popular right now. As we see in society, we have trends. Cow's milk is out. In Australia, mm -hmm. cow's milk is out. People don't want to drink it anymore. There's research that supports those decisions. But what is the impact, in your opinion, uh, of the deficiencies in calcium as a result of people not having as much milk as they would for, yeah. say, in their cereal every morning in the past? Yeah, we have to decide, you know, as we look at the science and we decide, well, am, am I a cow's milk person? Am I not a cow's milk person? Am I, do, do I think cheese is okay? To me, it goes back to this balance situation. We know, for instance, that in cheese, yes, m much cheese is made from cow's milk, but you can get goat milk and some other things, right? But it comes with full of probiotics. So you say, okay, I'm going to get some probiotics from the cheese that I'm consuming. And I'm going to get some calcium from the cheese I'm consuming. If I'm absolutely not going to get any sort of calcium from cow's milk or other types of milk, goat milk, sheep milk, et cetera, um, then I may want to look at, all right, so where do I want to get my calcium? What's my source that I get it from? Uh, obviously, in this case, you absolutely want to supplement because we do have calcium. Also, we have the bone nutrient complex in doTERRA. So that one is really geared towards women who are having these challenges of pregnancies and other situations that pull the calcium from their system. That bone nutrient complex has been very helpful in helping us maintain good health of bones, particularly when we're making decisions where we decide, well, I'm, I'm not comfortable with cow's milk. I've read some research. I'm not going to do that anymore. Make sure that you're getting a source of calcium from somewhere, uh, both in your diet as well as some supplementation there. Yeah, right. And, and do you think that the food preparation component, while we're talking about Microplex BMC, do you think that that food component, a uh, food preparation component is playing a huge part as well in what we are able to absorb? To your point before about the tomatoes, if you pick it up from the supermarket, it's going to have yeah. no lycopene. Uh, right. And so you're better off going to the farmer's market or growing it your, yourself. Yes. 
And then how do you prepare that food? Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely think it's contributing to it. We we have become a global society. And because we've become a global society, we make decisions as a country of where we're going to put our resources. So for instance, <clears throat> in the United States, if you go to the central part of the United States, that's where they grow corn. You wouldn't grow a lot of corn in California, for instance. So that means that the corn is picked in California. It's package there or the it's it's in the midwest it's packaged there and then it takes a three-day journey by truck to get to uh, california to the supermarket and by that time it's ripened if you pick the corn when it was ripe in the midwest by the time it arrived in california it would be rotten so therefore we make decisions like this and we make decisions of okay we're not going to spend our effort growing this we're going to import it from Mexico. We're going to import it from Japan. We're going to bring it over and we're going to decide to get those things from these locations. And so when you go to the grocery store, I would challenge you next time, start looking at your fruits and vegetables. Often it will have a sticker and it will tell you where it's from. And the further the distance, the less nutrients are going to be in that fruit or vegetable when you buy wow. it. Wow. We do have some, um, we do have those stickers and I believe there's codes associated with those stickers so you can do that research and I I know that in our supermarkets as well now we have a uh, like a graph of sorts saying that this product is made up of 80% Australian ingredients or 20% Australian ingredients and um, it's really that's a really important message I think to be able to delve that bit further into yeah. where is your product coming from um, and look at how is it actually going to add value because like you said at the very, very start, people who are more likely to be conscious about living a healthier lifestyle are naturally going to be supplementing. They're naturally going to be wanting to eat healthier. So once you start on that health train, that health journey of sorts, the more information you can gather, the more informed you're going to be, the better life choices you're going to make. Absolutely. And the more local that you can purchase your food, whether it be eggs, whether it be you know fruits and vegetables, no matter what it is, the more local you can purchase that, the more nutrients you're going to find in that. As I, as I mentioned before, we eat out of our garden. We eat out of it year round. So what we, what we grow in the summertime, we consume. And then what we can't consume during that time, we actually bottle or freeze dry or can so mm -hmm. that we have that in our food storage that we consume out. We have an orchard. But even those things that we're growing, right? Going back to the apple conversation, I have two apple trees. I have a, a honey crisp apple tree and I have a green apple tree. Even those apples, despite being fresh, organic, we don't use any chemicals on them. We make sure that they're, you know, amazing. The issue is they are not, they're still deficient in the phytonutrients that once were in apples, you know, 5,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so um, even eating out of our garden, which I think personally is the best that you can do, because, I mean, that's the ultimate local. It's, you know, five yards from my back door to, to go get my food. So it really does need to be that balanced approach of conscious eating, be aware of where your food's coming from, um, but yeah. then also filling in those 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 gaps of sorts and, and leaning yeah. on a on a foundational support mechanism of of supplementation, um, so that you can build those building blocks. Yeah, that's yeah. really interesting. Um, yeah. I want to just go back for just a minute because you mentioned at the start of our conversation that you take two lots of lifelong vitality in the morning and the afternoons. Yep. We've had so many experiences in the past. I've been with doTERRA for three and a half years now, and I, I too myself thought I was dying. I'll be <laughs> honest, when I first started taking, I was doing the full lot. I said, right, the bottle wants me to take two a day. I'm going to do that. And I, I felt pain. I'll be honest. I felt pain in my tummy, and I thought I'm either pregnant or I'm dying. <laughs> and two weren't ideal at the stage where I was at. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I learned quickly that you need to go easy. You need to yeah. start off slow um, yeah. because they are potent. They yeah. are strong. They, These scientists, they knew what they were doing yeah. when they created this product. And so sometimes tummies can handle certain mm -hmm. ingredients and sometimes you might react. So I now take one tablet a day of each. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm building up to two. Right. What's your experience with that? Is that okay? Should I, what would be the perfect routine? No, absolutely. I, I, I love that question because I've come across that same issue. So 
The issue is probably the minerals, to be very honest with you. we, As we talked about before, minerals are a little bit tough for us to absorb. Even in a chelated form, they sometimes cause a little bit of stomach upset. Now, we do have the tummy tamer blend within this, which is the peppermint, caraway, and ginger that helps calm down some of that discomfort. But even that, I would say some people do need to start at one a day of each and do that for two to four weeks until they go, okay, my system's handling this better. And then they should go to two a day separated. So one in the morning, one in the afternoon or evening and, and do that for two to four weeks until they find that the GI tract calms, calms down a little bit and then go to two in the morning and one in the evening and then two and two. Really, we want to build up to the full dose, which is two of each in the morning, two of each in the evening. And then that's the full dose. That's where you get the, the full benefit of LLV. But yes, you absolutely can start a little slower and say, my, my GI tract just didn't handle that full dose right out the gate. I'm going to need to start a little lower and go a little slower. And that's okay. As long as we have the goal getting up to where we need to be. <laughs> I can feel already the, the masses nodding at this conversation. <laughs> We've all been there. Yes, <laughs> we know sure. what that's like. Um, one last yeah. question, which I know yeah. um, has been a challenge for me, and I, and I can mm -hmm. only preempt what the field are going to think as well. Um, can we over-supplement? If we want to be taking the bone nutrient yeah. support as well, if we want to be taking something like Metapower in the future, um, mm. what does that look like and can you over supplement? It's a great question. In most cases, you can't. So for instance, calcium, you, you really won't absorb more calcium than your body can handle. Um, another one is vitamin C. Our GI tract is made to absorb about a thousand milligrams of vitamin C at one single time. And so therefore, if I take I've seen in the stores a 5,000 milligram supplement of vitamin C. If I take that, I'm just wasting 4,000 milligrams of it. I'm just not going to absorb it, right? Um, there are a few vitamins that we can absorb more than we should, and they can cause problems. So for instance, one of the B vitamins can actually cause some issues if you over supplement with that particular B vitamin. And so I had a patient years ago that came to me she was having some challenges. We started looking at her supplement regimen. She was taking five different things with the B vitamins in it. Right. And when you totaled those up, her vitamin B3 and her vitamin B6 were incredibly high. I mean, thousands of times more than she should have been taking. And that was the root of her problem. And as we, as we went through that and sort of demantling that and taking that apart, we said, okay, here's what you need to take don't take the rest of this. And so the beauty of this lifelong vitality pack is we've combined all of these so that again, you don't have to go out and say, well, I've got a B complex that I'm taking, plus I've got this multivitamin, how much B is that? And I'm taking this other thing that has some vitamin D in it. And in addition to this, is it okay? We've created all of our supplements to the point that you can take them together. You can take MetaPower, which by the way, is more about macronutrients than micronutrients and we'll have that conversation another time you can take the bone nutrient with it you're not going to have too much vitamin d or too much calcium if you're taking it with our lifelong vitality pack you know there's so many other things that you can take terrazyme for instance has digestive enzymes in it well you also have some digestive enzymes in our alpha crs and our vmz and so you're not going to get too much of those because we've designed them to be okay together. They play well together within the system. Fantastic. That's really good to know. Um, from a business perspective, because yeah. we're going to have a lot of business builders that will be tuning yeah. into this training as well, because we know, we know how important lifelong vitality pack is for longevity in your yeah. business structure. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking earlier about how important it is to talk about lifelong vitality as a recommended lifestyle change you're doing your customers a disservice if you don't educate them on lifelong vitality and i think we've covered it perfectly you've done such an incredible job of, of simplifying all of that those really big words into <laughs> you, digestible information that we can go great okay i can share this with my my downlines now i can share this yeah. with my community and it makes sense so what are some stats that you have around how important lifelong vitality is say on lrp for example 
Yeah, it's a great, great question. And, and I appreciate that you led with the fact that we're really doing our customers a disservice when we don't talk about this. That comes first. Before the business conversation, there has to be the conversation of, I'm here to help you. That's my first goal. The business is a secondary thing. And what I always tell my staff when I've been running a medical clinic for years is that we take care of patients first. The money will take care of itself if we take care of patients first. And that's true here too. If we take care of our customers first, if we have their their well-being at our heart, the business takes care of itself, okay? But let's talk about the statistics. We pulled some statistics from Europe to say, well, how's this working within the European market? For Europe, it looks like that there's a 25 to 35% increase in first year volume for people who order LLV on their first LRP order compared with those that don't. Mm -hmm. So overall volume for 12 months, higher by almost 35% if they get LRP on or LLV on the first LRP order. So really important to have the conversation to make sure that they're understanding how important this is. In the first five months of enrollment, it's closer to a 60% increase in total volume. Wow. So absolutely a, a, a major component of building a good solid business. Now, we also look at retention. So European enrollers who had an LRP order containing LLV in their first two months of enrolling, they have that increase in volume compared to those who don't but they had a 125% increase in retention. Wow. That's 2.25 times the retention in, for those that don't have LLV in that first LRP order. So if, if you're building the business, you're wanting to help people, make sure that you're discussing LLV and helping people understand why they need it on their LRP orders. And if you do that, I promise you, you will have better retention. You will have better volume of those individuals because they're, I think personally, as we talk about this lifestyle and making one lifestyle decision leads to another one. If you can help them make the decision for LLV, they're going to start making other lifestyle decisions along the way of saying, boy, I feel so much more energy now that I'm taking the LLV. I'm going to start exercising more. Well, now that I'm exercising more, I might need some deep blue rub to help maintain my muscles and my joints as I engage in more activity. Well, now that I'm engaging in more activity, I'm getting the benefit from that. I'm finding that when I work out in the evening, I'm having some difficulty making sure I get a restful night's sleep. So I'm going to order some lavender or some pedigree to support a restful night's sleep. And it goes on and on and on because they're adopting this lifestyle. They're making one good decision after another and we have the products to support them in making that lifestyle change. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's exactly what I was thinking. And that's, I think, the biggest hurdle that our, our field face um, is it's that roadblock of how do I start this? It, it's so overwhelming when you receive your first order. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do with things. What am I supposed to do with this? And so we end up adopting it into, well, it smells pretty in the diffuser. Right. Um, and it becomes an aromatic experience. To, in order to give your customers, to give your community a whole holistic lifestyle living program, it is fundamental that lifelong vitality is on that. Because once you start those building blocks, it's only going to create and enhance that habit and yeah. that, that beautiful way of living, which you and I both know is yeah. the only way to live. Because Especially can, as we have that experience, right? We were talking about that as we've taken it, we have felt it. How do you not share that message with other people? How do you, in good conscience, keep that information to yourself of, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. To me, that's why I'm at doTERRA, mm -hmm. is to help all of us share that message and help bring people along the journey to have a healthier life throughout their lifespan, no mm -hmm. matter their age, mm -hmm. and have a beautiful experience while they're here. So, And you're doing an incredible job at that. So thank, well, you. thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time today. I know that you're a very, very busy man. So I truly, on behalf of Australia and New Zealand, thank you for your time. My mind is blown. I have to go back over my notes and I have no doubt that everyone is going to have a 
an incredible time watching this training. So thank you again. And I look forward to chatting about maybe MetaPower in the future with you. Wonderful. I will look forward to it and look forward to being with you all in person soon. Amazing. Thank you so yeah. much. Take care.